No child should grow up thinking that their story or their hometown story is not a part of the larger American story. And it's time Washington stopped working for special interests and started working for rural America. So not only do I want to recruit new teachers, but I especially want to recruit them in rural communities. I want to make sure that we're making investments in rural schools. I think we can connect all of America to 21st century technology. And we'll show that we value farming in this country by launching a program that gives a hand to the next generation of farmers and helps them buy their first farms. It's getting harder and harder to earn a living in small towns and rural communities. And that's not right. We lose something that's distinctly American when we lose our family farms. Mr. President, I'll keep on fighting for a rural agenda. I'll enforce our trade agreements and fight to make sure farm programs help the family farmer who needs them. Who's going to own American agriculture a generation or two from now? We need to create an environment of entrepreneurship. There need to be dollars for not only programs in rural schools, but certainly support for rural teachers. Well, too often what happens in Washington, uh, let's face it, is not helping people who live in rural America. In fact, all too often it's hurting people who are living in rural America. And that's part of the reason that we were here today, to advance a rural agenda that has to become an American agenda. While you're working hard to strengthen your farms, your families, your communities, your small businesses, your main streets, uh, our government's been working hard for big businesses and big agribusiness. It's time that you knew that your kids won't have to worry about leaving town for a good job. It's time that a small farmer doesn't have to worry about not having health care if he or a member of his family gets sick. It's time that you know that your voice is heard and your views are represented in Washington, even if you can't afford to hire a lobbyist. Americans are ready to make this change. One of the things I've heard loud and clear is that you need a partner in Washington. You need somebody who's thinking about you and working with you and listening to you. There is a moment in the life of every generation when if we are to make our mark on history, this spirit must break through. This is the moment. This is our time.